So, good day guys and welcome to our channel. How are you doing? Well, I just do hope that we are all doing fine despite the difficulty of situation that we're in nowadays. By the way, for first timer in our channel, after watching our video, please subscribe. On our last video, I showed you how to make a tomato con kase the tomato sauce used in pasta cookery. I even showed you how to use it. I made a pasta dish with a homemade chicken sausage in our tomato concasse. Well, you can even make a loaf or a quenelle or a chicken balls. So guys, if you're ready, let us start. Okay guys, now we will make our homemade sausage. So, our main ingredient, of course, we have here 200 grams of chicken meat and 50 grams of pork meat that's dried in. And then, uh, we have here 3 tablespoons of cornstarch and 2 pieces egg whites. And to season, we have here one half teaspoon salt and then one four teaspoon pepper and then to add a little bit of color and flavor and uh, healthiness we will add about uh, uh, three tablespoons of chopped malungay leaves and later on when we will about to, when we are about to assemble it we will add this chicken cubes so uh, the chicken cubes is approximately uh, 75 grams okay guys so guys madali lang it's just very easy you will just have to put everything there in the food processor and then we will start to process it so we will add first the pork and the chicken and then our egg whites there you are and then our cornstarch and then our malunga leaves and of course the salt and pepper the next we just have to process it. Okay. First you have to process it in low speed and later on you will adjust the speed to high. Now it's almost smooth and fine. In a few minutes, we will take it out, turn it off and take it out, and cast it in a bowl. Okay. Now we will turn it off. And then we will just transfer it into another bowl. Now, our mixture is already here in the bowl. And then we'll just be adding this chicken and mix it thoroughly just like this so when we slice the sausage there would be some pieces of chicken meat that we can see okay got it guys so this is very much similar to the uh, fish farce that we make actually if, uh, at this stage, this is just what we call farce, chicken farce. But it becomes sausage when we put it in a sausage casing. Unfortunately, 
we don't have any sausage casing but we will do something that we can still uh, make it look like a sausage I'll show it I'll show it to you later on a little bit in a little bit while first we will lay a piece of clean wrap plastic film in the table and then we will just spoon the, the uh, mixture uh, on that plastic film okay guys it is now as we will spoon this on this plastic film there okay Then we will arrange it nicely. So that we can have an even uh, loop later on. Okay. Next we will roll it. Just like this. Okay. Then just continue rolling. And then we will squeeze both ends. Okay. And later on, we will lay it in an aluminum foil. So, we have to have at least three, three layers because our aluminum foil is a little bit thin. Okay. There. I hope you can follow. And then next is to put this one here. And then roll it again in this aluminum foil. And then squeeze both ends so that it's really tight. And uh, there's not a single hole, there's no way for the moisture to get inside this mixture okay and then next it has uh, we have to poach it so it has to be poached so guys it has to be poached so I'll show it to you so we have here our pot with boiling water so all we have to do is we will lower the heat and then put the mixture in the pot. There. So the mixture is already in the pot and we will simmer it for 45 minutes. So, but, but do not cover it because if you cover it, it will boil and then the heat would intensify and then uh, that our, uh, our uh, wrapper might crack and then the mixture might go come out of, of that uh, wrap and uh, mix into the water. Okay guys, so it's only poaching. So it should be below the boiling point. Got it guys? Now it's 45 minutes, so I have to take it out. Okay, we'll take it out from this pot and then we will put it in a, in a plate and we'll, we will let it cool and then we will let it cool and when it
face. Now it's already out of the pot, it's now the plate, and then we will just let it cool. And when it, it is at cool temperature, we will remove the, uh, the wrap and wrap it again in a, uh, in a clean wrap or plastic film and we will keep it. Now, uh, this sausage or loaf can be used just like on what, how I used it in our pasta. I uh, use it as a meat ingredient of my pasta with bechamel sauce. And also, you can use it uh, for the buffet. You can uh, you can you can add uh, brown sauce or, or cream brown sauce or tomato sauce or uh, tomato with cream or bechamel. So it's just all up to you. So that is uh, the the beauty of learning cooking the uh, basic way not the recipe way got it guys guys our chicken sausage already done and chilled well i believe i have shown you clearly how a chicken farce is done well should you want to improve it a little bit more feel free to add herbs or spices like nutmeg this mixture can also be formed into a chicken loaf chicken patty chicken balls or even chicken quenelles you can keep it in your chiller wrapped in plastic film for a minimum of three days if your chiller is frequently opened but it can last for about five days if your chiller is always closed and uh, if you keep it in the freezer you can keep it for a month so guys Thank you for watching and see you next video for our another pasta dish. This using creamed brown sauce. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself and please stay safe. This is Chef Ben Casabon signing off. God bless us all.